Okay, guys. Like I said, this is a little special part. I'm going to show you the other ending, because I thought there was something else, but no, I'm pretty sure this is the only two endings. And maybe... But... Whatever. I got all the special stuff. Maybe that's why you can do the special ending. Um, we're back to the same spot where the judge comes in and stops the batter from going to the switch that we pulled off last time. He said, stop right there, you imposter. I remember. But I must say that I placed the, yeah, we've seen all this before. It's in the previous video. I'm going to leave it hang if you want to read it anyway. Um... But yeah, so the judge definitely believed in us, and he says it's totally a mistake. Well, I guess us. He believed in the batter. Um, well, he believed in me too, as he's saying here, because I'm obviously in control and told the batter to do all these things. Um, hmm. Okay, so this is like an imaginary world. Is I guess we'll get into the interpretationist stuff. This is like an imaginary world. Somewhere went to hide from bad things in real life. Um, and this is saying... So, I don't know. It's up to interpretation. I guess I like to think that maybe... Okay, so totally the story is definitely about, um, it's about a couple, uh, a husband and wife, who have a sick kid and is dying. And totally, it makes sense. The name of the game is off, you pull the switch off. You know, it's like the kid dies, basically because you can't provide the care or whatever, or there's no hope. And I'm pretty sure that's either... This is probably within the man's head. And this is the imaginary world where everything is okay. And it's all built to protect the kid. But I assume in that in the final moments before the deed must be done... He's realizing that this must be smashed down. So, yes, we're going to do the judge special end. Um, that choice was, even though pathetically useless, I think the right one. And now, batter, take our revankist thirst for justice of no avail. Taste our... And he speaks in such weird ways. Okay, so here's the batter. Looking horrific <laughs> from the judge's eyes. Definitely, as someone mentioned before, being a ducky. Um, I don't know. Um, actually, I'm just going to let it auto done auto before um although that might die boy if we die that'd be sucky um it made the batter really tough um but I'm pretty sure the judge is tough too oh the batter wasn't that tough we killed him but so let's see what happens uh demented crusade ends here die batter with the eternal souvenir of not having conducted your sad scheme to its end. It's too late. Everything is lost. I know, but I prefer this over your victory. Hence, nothing remains except for our regrets. Okay. So, that's the end of that one, too, I guess. Um, I thought there was something else. Um, whatever. Uh, not necessarily a happy ending either. <laughs> They're both sad endings. Um, I definitely thought there was another ending. 
Might have to look that up. Um. Oh, maybe it just keeps going. So, the judge has left. It's, it's pretty much all there is to the world now. The judge and Zachary. Really the only people. Oh, wait. There was that guy in that bunker. He survived somehow. Um, but he probably will never leave that bunker. Um, because we destroyed everything as the banner. Um, but as I was saying, along the lines of this about being, um, a husband and wife and their dying child, um, that they didn't know what to do, and I think that the husband, the man, who's, I think you're playing inside his head, descended into this thing. He's gone into, like, a fantasy land. And the batter is probably the key of your mind, basically, of his mind, that's, like, telling him to wake up. Um, but, I mean, it still doesn't end happy for him, because he loses his son. Probably his wife as well. Um, it says that you killed him. Or you killed, you killed the kid and your wife. But, again, going off of the interpretation that this is in his head, probably he's just personally feeling guilty. Like, the, he should have done more. He could have saved the family and stuff. Even though it, I feel like, it probably is a, one of those situations where you can't do anything. And that's what he's feeling. That his agency of the situation was taken away and he couldn't do anything at all and even if he could have done something it wouldn't have helped but he has the guilt um, kind of like survivor's guilt but not quite the same thing I don't actually know what this is called but so he blames himself but he's stuck in that and he has to face reality that nothing can keep his loved ones with him really so like I said it's not a happy ending it's very sad this one I guess is slightly happier because the judge Zachary uh, still get to hang out in this place that's pretty much empty so they're stuck with their loneliness and the decisions they made um I mean, my interpretation could be wrong, because then, usually, in interpretations, things are analogs for other things. Um, you can imagine, though, specifically, um, things like... Uh, see, the thing is, I don't know what sugar... Not the thing itself, but sugar the um, person was... But you can imagine, like, Day Dan with his crazy coat and just being tall, um, might have been a doctor for the kid. And, like, that's the, he's the, in the brain of the guy, you're hearing the child's interpretations of those people that came into his life. And that maybe, um, that bird was just a bird that flew by his window in a hospital that I'm assuming he was in. Um, like, Day Dan. Like I said, he might have just been the doctor. And, um... I don't know, the big guy might have been... Some hospital worker... Cafeteria or something that brought him a cake, basically. Uh, brought him some sweets. And then the elements might have been the things that were... What he knew of the world, the kid again. Um like sugar, of some sweet foods, meat, of basically probably not sweet foods, um, uh, the metal and plastic that his room was built out of, uh, smoke, well, um, I'm not sure, that one might be, I mean, it might go back, I mean, you could try to interpret it as like, you know, how if you ever seen old cartoons or stuff, people in hospital waiting rooms were able to smoke there, and they would smoke a lot, and it created smoky air, so maybe that might be what smoke actually is. Does that cover all of them? I said sugar, meat. Yes, that was all of the things. Plastic, metal, and smoke. So, 
or maybe smoke just because he has to breathe weird things like maybe he has to breathe through some sort of device because the illness whatever it was you know I think that's not necessarily the correct interpretation that's just a interpretation you can interpret it other ways or you can look up um, interpretations that are think I think mine is pretty similar I think I took it from somebody else and probably tweaked it some but I know the general whatever um, so I still think that there's some other little ending that can happen I don't remember how to get it you probably won't see it uh, you can look it up if you would like to um, but that is really fully the end of what I'm doing for off as this series I didn't intend for this video to be this long but I got stuck in my interpretation and rambling on about it but um, I hope you enjoyed a second video today for off and this really marks the end of the series still as of time of recording I don't know what I'm going to be playing but tomorrow I will be playing whatever that is for you guys to watch so join me tomorrow where I will definitely aim to pick something less sad so yeah I hope everybody's having a good day and I didn't do anything bad to ruin it so with that we're done with off I will see you guys when I'm playing the next game come join me for it I'm sure it'll be great <laughs>